Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dr. V Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Verga. Today I wanted to go through my EDC like toolkit, I would rather probably name it. Um, I went, I kind of mentioned some of the items in here in my last video in the emergency preparedness video for my emergency kit. I wanted to go through exactly what is in this, this EDC kit because I just briefly like brushed over it. This is a toolkit that I keep in my everyday bag. Unlike guys out there who have a lot of little trinkets in their pockets, for us females, Half the time our pants don't even have pockets, so we are at the mercy of storing whatever quote-unquote EDC items we need or want in either a sling, a purse, or a backpack. For me, I chose a backpack. I have a three-day assault backpack from Mystery Ranch, which I will leave a link to that in the description. But this Maxpedition EDC kit can be really put in almost any bag. It is kind of heavy, but most female purses are heavy. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, so right here I have a Maxpedition EDC pouch. This is one of their larger ones. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It does have outside pockets. It does have Velcro, uh, dog hair not included. I did also put these Maxpedition pull tabs on it, so I cut off the original zipper strings and I added these. It does make it so much easier to get into here. Uh, not necessary, but just something that I like to have. Then when we open this up, it looks like it's a little bit of a mess, but I had originally put this kit together with um, kind of some of the influence of a lot of the EDC YouTubers, but I ended up kind of making it my own. Took a lot of things out, put a lot of things in. I generally use most of this stuff on a weekly or daily basis. So let's start on the left here. So right here I have what is a pry bar. Um, it's has a kind of a multifunction pry bar here. I'm not gonna go into like all of the specifics. I just wanna go through the kit. I'm gonna leave a link to all of these individual things in the description. I have found that actually having a pry bar on me is pretty, pretty useful. I didn't always keep pry bars on me, but I saw some best damn EDC video and I was like, eh, I'll try one. And now I find that I use it all of the time. So that's one of the first things I have in here. Another thing I have before I got a better knife sharpener, um, I keep this in here anyway. This is kind of like a multi-purpose um, Sherpal, I guess is what it's called. Sharp Al, I don't know. Anyway, so there is uh, two knife sharpeners in here. It does have a flint. I don't generally use this flint very much. I mean, you can obviously see that I've tested it out because I do like to go through this kit and make sure all the things work. Uh, this isn't too bad. I really do actually use it for the sharpener. Again, uh, dog hair not included. It does have a little, um, there's a couple of points on here where you can put a lanyard through and um, and tie it to something, but I just throw it in here. I use it, I use it occasionally. Um, just good to have. I do have one of these Kinepix, um set of pliers here. Uh, this is Man, I use this all the time. There's also a smaller one, which uh, was in here up until a couple days ago. I, had, I ended up throwing it in my bicycle kit. So for when I go cycling, I have something on me. I also, and I lost a little plastic piece for these, but I do have a pair of Millie tweezers. These are super fine. I, oh gosh, I use these all of the time. I actually just got a splinter a couple weeks ago and uh, took the took this tweezer, took them right out. Let me put this in this way. Moving on to, well, I guess before I move on, I do have a right in the rain, all weather tactical notebook, quote unquote tactical. I don't know what the hell makes it tactical, but. Tactical. Um, I keep this in here as a backup. I'm not even too sure if I've used this yet. I have not used this yet. It is definitely just a backup. Um, I have a field notebook that I keep in my wallet and that's primarily the, the what I use. Next on this side, uh, I, I actually use these a lot. So this is a little random Amazon cutlery set. And I originally bought this for my for backpacking and I never used it. I ended up using a titanium spoon, but these are also titanium. So it's a fork, a knife, and a spoon. And they kind of open up like this. This thing comes down and voila you have a spoon. Um, I just keep these in here because you never know. I use the fork all the time because for some reason I seem to never remember to bring a fork with me to work. So, so when I go to eat my food, I'm like, SOL. So that is what influenced the, the addition to my EDC. Okay, next I have this Nightcore NU25, I believe. This is the 
is this one. I'll leave a link for this in the description. I, I generally, oh, yeah, there you go. NU25 Ultralight. I generally use this all the time. I know that there are a lot of people out there who replace this cordage. I haven't really had a problem with it. It's been doing, it's been doing what it's supposed to do. I, I take this out with me almost every single day when I walk my dog. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really great. I haven't charged it in like two weeks. So the, the battery is pretty awesome and it has a, a couple different modes on here. Actually, I think it's locked right now. There we go. It has a couple different modes on here and I, I generally use the, the red light mode, um, at night. So there's that. Okay. Kind of moving on. Th this part gets a little messy. This is just like a random pen that I keep in here. Nothing, nothing too crazy about that. Just a regular pen. I have this Mulwark little ratcheting screwdriver. This thing is freaking awesome. And here are all the bits for it. Uh, I just used this the other day, hence why there's a bit on it right now. Um, I, I use this all of the time. This is such a cute little per. It's like perfect. So sometimes when I'm going to go do something or if I know I'm going to need this, I will just throw this kind of in my sling because I do carry a sling with me in addition to this backpack. This backpack is kind of like a supplementary emergency preparedness kit rather than I say a true EDC, but it does come with me every single day. So falls into everyday carry. Okay. So there's enough of that. You guys get how that works. Uh, this is a knife that was gifted to me. It's Damascus steel. I probably need to actually oil this bad boy, boy up, but a friend of mine got this for me and uh, had my name put on it. I just used this sharpener to sharpen it a little bit prior to uh, me doing some work. I had to zip, zip tie some stuff and I used this knife to, to cut the zip ties. Awesome knife. Next is this set, this Wera set. I, again, gosh, I, I use this today as a matter of fact. So you can use the wrench here or it has a little screwdriver piece here. Hey guys, I wanted to interrupt this video real quick and remind you that my free guide, Wellness, Wisdom, and Warfare, A Veteran's Guide for Mastering Life is now available for download using the link in the description. Or if you go to my website, jessieverga.com slash free guide, or it's under the podcast tab, you can download it for absolutely free. It's over 60 pages of just tips and tricks and things to help my veterans out there master their health, master their fitness, master their mental and spiritual health, just things that I've learned through my journey as just a veteran and that I've learned as an educator and as a professional in multiple fields, as an entrepreneur. I put all these things in one place and I've put it together for absolutely free. So again, Link is in the description, or if you head to my website, jessieverga.com, you can download it for absolutely free. So this thing was attached here. I basically just pulled it out and uh, just so I can store it separately. But this thing is pretty freaking awesome. So it has all of these, so this thing flips out right here. You have all of these bits, which again, I use them all the time. Now these, if I remember correctly, these can actually come out and you can store them separately. Uh, that just seemed like it would end up being a mess. So I ended up keeping it in here. So the bits were somewhat protected and trying to prevent them from falling out. Then you have up here as you have the little, little wrench or ratchet rather. And then, um, there's obviously this little bit of an extender. So this goes in here and, and then you can throw your bits on here. Uh, I don't, really use this piece very often. I generally just throw the bits right into here, but sometimes it does become a little bit of a pain in the ass. So, um, you know, do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. No, like tool professional. I just, when I know I need, when I know I need something, I come to this first. Uh, even sometimes when I'm home, uh, and I don't want to go out into the garage and grab some tools. I'll just open this bad boy up. This Maxpedition also has this pocket here. I don't keep anything in this pocket because it's so packed with, with stuff already. I found that if I added anything to that, to that pocket, it just became a little too bulky. So I'm just gonna throw this stuff back in here. I don't have like a specific method for this. I generally just toss everything back in here. As long as it's secure and not, and not like rolling around, then we're good. Let's turn this night core off. If you watched the emergency preparedness video, you would know that I also have a, a little notebook that I use 
that I keep a write in the rain pen, a regular pen, a field notes, and then all of my debit cards, credit cards, forms of identification, all of that stuff also goes in that. This was just a quick little, little rundown of what I keep. I'm not super EDC crazy. I just, I wanted a little toolkit that I could bring with me everywhere because I hate being out in the field, at work, or doing anything and needing a screwdriver and not having one. And I don't want my keys to be bulky because I know some people keep some stuff on their keys. I just keep everything in this little pouch. And if I change bags or whatever the case is, this pouch comes with me. In an emergency situation, when I go to grab my emergency kit, generally I will also grab my EDC bag, which has things like an extra shemog, my everyday first aid kit, this tool kit, and some other random things like another, you know, portable battery, stuff like that. So my EDC bag is not very big. I designed it to be that way. I wanted it to be small, something to complement my wallet essentially, and then something that was small enough for me to grab along with an emergency kit, along with my home emergency kit or my work emergency kit, and be able to maneuver and be agile while also carrying everything that I might need. But with that, if you guys want me to go through kind of more of the stuff that I carry every day, I would like to see more women prepared. A lot of times when I get to a scene or even when reviewing lessons learned from from past incidences, you know, re reviewing body cam footage, things like that, a lot of times the bystanders or even the individuals involved are a little bit helpless. They are not prepared. They don't really know what to do. And that's not their fault necessarily. We shouldn't live in a world where every single person has to be prepared for something, but this is the, these are the cards that we were dealt. So I think it's a really good idea that not just men, but women sort of enter this EDC field. Now I've been kind of quote unquote in this EDC realm for probably about a year now. I bought a lot of things that were recommended by YouTubers and blog posts. And then from there, I kind of tailored it to me. I just, those, those, those videos and those I'll call them experts. They were they were able to give me a good starting point. So I hope, ladies, this is a good starting point for you or anybody out there who is looking to kind of dial in an EDC kit or even start start one. If you want to make sure that you have, you know, just the basic tool set on you, flathead, Phillips screwdriver, a wrench maybe, and call it a day, that's also a good starting point. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a situation where I've needed tools and now I'm in the same number of situations where I need tools, but now I actually have tools to use. So it, again, if you guys want me to go through kind of some of the other stuff that I carry in my EDC bag, I am more than happy to do so. Leave a comment and let me know. But with that, I'll see you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.